Although we're performing this repair on my E350, many Mercedes models have the same type of lanyard. Let's begin by showing the problem. The gas cap lanyard, either from dry rot or overuse, has broken. The brake is far enough away from both ends to perform this quick repair. I grabbed my 40-year-old Craftsman Precision Micro Tool Set. No, Craftsman is not a sponsor. Inside lives this set of needle nose pliers with a hook on it that should prove perfect for this application. I doubled, then doubled again, this piece of cardboard to act as a scratch guard. The pliers are positioned behind the plug that runs through one end of the lanyard and is pushed into the gas lid. Brace the gas lid from the back side. The cardboard is placed behind the head of the pliers as the pliers are wedged outward. Out comes the plug and this is the way it looks as it runs through the loop and the broken lanyard. Before we go inside to perform the repair, I located a cap off a spray can and placed it over the gas cap receptacle, then closed the door to minimize escaping gas fumes. Once inside, a pack of assorted shrink wrap tubes are opened and we locate and fit the smallest tube that we can over the longest end of the broken lanyard. I want to measure and cut the shrink wrap, but also leave a little of the lanyard sticking out the end. That's perfect. My choice here is not to use a fast setting super glue as it can dry brittle. Rather, I'm going to use a slow setting glue to allow for more strength and flexibility. Touch a small amount to each end of the lanyard. With the shrink wrap in place, position the two ends together. This glue requires a two hour cure time. Full disclosure. After one hour, the fit was tacky enough to move, so I moved the pieces outside into the sun and secured them with a small folder clamp. After two hours, the clamp is removed and the shrink wrap slipped into place over the fracture. Plastic sandwich bag is positioned so that there can be no escaping fumes during this next step. A heat source is applied all the way around the shrink wrap. Remember to keep either the heat moving or the shrink wrap turning during this part. Now let's go make it look pretty. Painter's tape is applied to the gas cap to protect the white lettering during the spray operation. Now many may ask, isn't this a lot of work? Why not just buy a new cap and lanyard off of eBay for $24? Well, there's nothing wrong with this gas cap and fixing it makes me feel good. Here is the assembly while the paint dries in the April sunlight. The spray can lid is removed. Now I didn't know it at the time of removal, but the lanyard plug has a pin through the center of it that normally would be pulled out before the plug is removed. Here on reassembly, the pin on the plug has been pulled out and you can see it here. The legs of the plug are fitted through the hole in the end of the lanyard. Then the legs are pushed into the hole of the gas lid opening. Lastly, the pin is pushed into the plug to secure it in place. The gas cap with repaired lanyard is tested and this project is complete.